Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, whenever it resonates. Uh, around the 25th, you know, but the timing is fluid, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? So we have an emperor in reverse, and we have the six of wands. Now, so this is being public, re publicly recognized. This is public recognition, being cheered on, uh, uh, coming out of a battle. It's the battle. The battle is over. The fight is over. The fight is over. So the emperor in reverse. This guy, it's out of his control. Um, somebody may be losing control. Um, a loss. I mean, I feel like this emperor is 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 suffering some sort of loss. The fight is over, though. He put up a good fight. Somebody put up a good fight. Um, but this is usually victory. But the emperor in reverse is, uh, <laughs> you know. The Emperor in Reverse is a mean-spirited individual who is self-absorbed. This person deserts you in the time of need. Is only looking out for their own good. Is power hungry. This is an individual who is a fraud. Okay. Um, they don't take responsibility for their actions. They like to be the boss, but um, they do it in the wrong way. Very A bully, per se. Um, this is somebody that is very entitled, right? So we have, a, this is somebody who's entitled. This is a business owner or something. This guy is entitled. He's a huge ego, very egotistical. Now the emperor in reverse is somebody that is definitely unreasonable. It looks like he's going down. Things are turning. This is upside down. His life is being turned upside down. Let's clarify these cards because it feels like there's a, something happening. Obviously, there is. Um, hmm. I don't know. We could have some heart pain here or heart issues. I mean, this is heartache. This is heartache, suffering, pain. The Three of Swords. This is a painful separation, the three, the three of Swords. This is, this is a, a painful situation of some sort. Heartache, heart pain, grief, suffering, rejection, painful separation. There's somebody, somebody may be having some heart problems, feeling pain in their heart. I mean, that's what this is, pain in their heart. Now, this fight is over. Because the Six of Wands comes after the Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands is the battle. The battle is over. So I'm not sure what is going on, but somebody's battle is over. The suffering is over. <clears throat> what is this? Or somebody may be... Now, this is victory as well. So somebody may be coming out of a painful situation. Maybe they were, they were dealing with some sort of pain, but it's over. It's over. The pain. It's over. Something is over. Um, ooh. Ten of Wands reversed. Now this is dropping. Uh, letting go. Letting go. Letting go of this baggage. Letting go of burdens. Dropping weight. Dropping dead weight. Um, making a conscious change to, to leave something and let it go. So somebody is letting go, letting go of this burden, not going to, don't have let, nothing left to prove. You know, the only reason somebody was carrying this baggage and this burden was because they're trying to prove something. This is letting go. I don't have nothing left to prove that there isn't anything left to prove. This is freeing yourself. This is freedom. It is freeing for somebody is, is being freed. From a painful situation or whatever it is. And there's some sort of hurt here. Um, yeah, this is definitely freedom. 
definitely an obstacle is being removed, stepping outside of their comfort zone. Somebody is stepping outside of their comfort zone. They're coming out of their own little mental prison. They're done holding on. They're letting go. Now, somebody, this person, I think this is two different people. I do. That's why it's funny how I separate them. I usually don't do that. I don't think you guys have ever seen me do that with a daily vibe. So I think there's, and the Three of Swords is a separation. I, I separated these before I even pulled the Three of Swords. So there's some sort of separation here. And this is a separation. So we have a separation here. This, this Emperor in reverse um, has probably abused his power or he, there's some sort of stress. Uh, Something is going on. Something about mental prison or something about uh, being stuck in a situation. Unable to uh, let go or unable. Somebody may have not. Because this guy deserts you in the time of need because of his ego, because of his pride. So, you know, when that happens, uh, shit usually falls apart because of karma. But we're the, I don't see the karma yet, but that's a fact. But anyhow, this is dropping this is dropping and this is removing an obstacle, uh, facing fear. This is because here somebody was staying in a situation that was safe, but now they're ready to face their fear, even if it hurts. And this is a fearless energy as well. So I'm not sure if this is the same person or somebody else. Um, this battle is oh, some sort of battle is over. It has been as painful battle. It has been painful. nothing left to prove ready ready to get out of this uh prison oh queen of pentacles now somebody may have been holding on just for the money staying in this desperate situation by the looks of things just for the stability of it or the money because the queen of pentacles has money somebody may have married for money or they got into a relationship for money queen of pentacles is stable she's solid she's secure she has money obviously she has money but this is breaking free somebody is breaking free this is freedom it really is it's freedom and now this this queen of pentacles she may be the one that is choosing to break free Okay, she's, she's uh, very responsible. She's very practical. She may have acquired the money to break free. Because this is, there's freedom here. Both of these cards. Freedom from a narcissist. And if this guy is not a narcissist, he's very controlling, very manipulative, um, mean, corrupt, self-centered, egotistical. Now she's got the money. So somebody may have obtained the money to break free from this individual or this person is going down. Obviously, he's upside down. He's going down. Somebody is going down. May, somebody may have tried to help this person. Uh, you know, they may have. But, you know, this person, he has a hard time communicating. He doesn't communicate well. He doesn't show any gratitude. Ungrateful. Empress reversed. Oh my God. Empress reversed. Uh, wow. Lack of growth. We definitely have two people here that don't see eye to eye. <laughs> nope. Both very, very controlling. Like to be in control. Like to be um, the boss. Yep, we have two people here that don't see eye to eye. There definitely could be, we could have a third party situation here as well. Just saying. The Empress in reversed is somebody that is, uh, well, very superficial. Um, not very tender, not very loving. Uncaring. This person is very uncaring. Forceful just a mess somebody is dealing with an individual who is lazy and it's like they have another opportunity here 
This guy doesn't respect, doesn't have, and this one doesn't either. There's a lack of respect here for each other. But this is breaking free, and that one is too. So freedom, freedom from a, a <laughs> messy situation, put it that way. Now, this person isn't very loving, jealous, possessive, has jealousy issues. Maybe jealous of this person. Absolutely. So, anyhow, uh, so this could be a husband and a wife, a father and a mother. It could be partners, whatever. Whatever. I think that we definitely have some sort of chaos here. I do. I think there's some sort of chaos. There's an, there's an imbalance. There's some suffering. There's this pain. But there's been some fighting, obviously, because the Five of Wands comes before this. But this battle is over. It is. These people don't, don't even... Uh, serious power struggles, put it that way. Serious power struggles. It's been, it's been hell. But it was safe. So somebody was trying to, to hold on to it. They were trying to stay in this situation because it was safe. It's what they knew, right? And they were holding on because of the stability of it, the money. You know, this is stable. There's money, you know, right here. I don't have to worry about my stability. I don't have to worry about the money. And, and maybe they, they just were with this person for the stability, for the money of it. You know what I mean? Because typically the empress is very abundant. She has money. So this emperor may have got together with an empress just for her money. Um, doesn't look like there's any love in these cards. There ain't. I'm sure another reader could make some up, but I'm not her. Anyhow, uh, okay. So we have a painful situation. There's heartache. There's heart pain. Somebody's, you know, falling down. Somebody could end up falling down, collapsing with this ten of ten of wands reversed. They've been been in a painful situation, and maybe their health is declining. Seven of Swords reverse and the Queen of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Swords. Um, maybe she's saying, "I told you so." I told you so. She knows. She's very intuitive. She's very independent. She's very wise. She knows the truth. She's got the Sword of Truth. She's also got the power in her hand. She speaks and she speaks. Um, she speaks harshly. I mean, she speaks the truth. She doesn't care. Uh, who it hurts, it's, it's the truth. She speaks facts. Somebody's about to get caught. There's some sort of truth that is coming out. Lies are going to be exposed. We have somebody here that is exposing the truth. Or she's, I, I told you this was going to happen. You know, I told you that this person was lying. I told you this person was cheating. I told you, you know, that's what I feel like she's saying. I told you so. Somebody's getting caught and, this, and something is being revealed by this Queen of Swords. She has some sort of information that is going to reveal something about this uh, individual. This guy is a business owner or a boss or a father or a husband. Somebody that is in some sort of authoritative position that has been abusive perhaps or abusing his power. Keeping somebody uh, trapped in a situation that was probably very unhealthy. Maybe he was trapped. He may be the one that was trapped in the unhealthy situation. Either way, the emperor in reverse, somebody has a humongous ego. I mean humongous. Huge. Like Huge. Probably doesn't respect women at all. Probably went after a weak woman. The Empress in reverse, a weak woman. She is. She's needy. Somebody that you can control. You can control the Empress in reverse. She's controllable because she's so weak. Interesting. Interesting. But this is getting caught. Somebody's about to get caught. Somebody has some information over here. This person has some information. I'm not sure if this is, this could be a lawyer. This could be an investigator. This is somebody who speaks. This, could, this is somebody that is a speaker. They, they, um, 
investigate and they come up with some sort of information that is going to catch somebody in the act or something like that. Something is going to happen with that Seven of Swords reversed. They're not going to get away with it. Somebody's not going to get away with what they've been doing. Put it that way. Somebody may have thought they were going to get away with what they were doing, but they're not. They're not. So somebody, it's like they're not getting away with it. So somebody's not going to get away with what they have been doing. They're going to get caught. What are they going to get caught doing? What are they going to get caught doing? Ooh. Hmm. Strength card. Now the strength card is about control. It's about uh, mastery. Hmm. I don't know if somebody's been cheating or what they've been doing. They've been lying. Oh, because this is lies. The Eight of Swords reversed. And this one is too. Somebody has been lying. Probably about an, another person. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be a third party here. We have Leo. We have, we have everybody. It doesn't really matter. But we do have everybody. Somebody's going to tell. I told you so. I told you so. I think here, here comes somebody. Somebody is rushing in. This is rushing, charging in. Looks like this person is on a mission. We have somebody here that is on the mission to say something. Got something to say. Somebody has something to say. And they're going to reveal something about a person that has been very controlling. There is a lot of control here. Now, this takes strength to let go. The strength card is about letting go, finding the strength to let go. Mastering emotions. And this could be restraining. Restraining. Somebody may have been restraining another person. Something is going on. This fight is over. Some, this is reckless behavior, moving too fast, doing something stupid. Somebody has done something stupid and they're going to get caught. They thought they had this under control, but they don't. They don't. Now there's going to be some sort of suffering, some sort of pain because of the three of swords. There's some sort of pain. Now the knight of swords is a shock. It is. Something is it's very shocking is going to happen. This is a shock. You're going to need to control your emotions. You're going to need to master your emotions. Somebody's going to need to master their emotions because something is going to happen and it is going to be a shock. It's going to be a surprise. I think there's going to be some information that comes out and it's like there's no going back. It's too late. You know, I feel like it's too late. It's too late. Now, now, now it's too late. Whatever that means. It's too late. This battle is over. It's like the proof is right here. The proof is right here. You're a liar. Because this is the proof and this is a liar. It's like, so some, somebody has some sort of proof. Something is going to happen. Now, the Empress in reverse is a mother that is not a very good mother. She doesn't take very good care of her children. And this is like keeping, this is confinement. And this is restraint. So it's like there's some sort of confinement here or some sort of restraint. You know, somebody has, uh, it almost feels like it's abuse. But I feel like there's a professional that is involved that sees the truth. And the truth comes out. So, uh...
there is something that is going to happen. It's going to be a shock. And you're going to need to master your emotions and remain in control. Restrain yourself from overreacting. Be calm. This is be calm in, in the face of adversity. Okay, this is adversity and this is be calm. Somebody is going to need to be calm. There is some, some, there is some sort of uh, painful situation that is coming to an end. I think it's going to come to an end abruptly. I think it's going to be a shock. I don't think you saw it coming. But you knew it was coming. Because it's like, I, I, I just want to keep saying, I told you so. And there's no going back. Okay, there's no, whatever that means, there's no going back. So I don't know how that resonates. And it feels like it's a very confusing reading. But it's a very confusing situation. It is. I think there's been a lot of secrets. There's been a lot of uh, power struggles here. And there's been a lot of suffering. But whatever this suffering was, I think it's over. I think there's going to be a, a shocking uh, change of circumstances that uh, breaks somebody free from a narcissistic person. Good luck.